starting things off, we're in music. In music, uh, we we have three pieces we're going to be talking about today for music. First off, we're talking Dark Knight's death metal. Much like they did with Dark Knight's metal, there is going to be music associated with the Dark Knight's death metal book. This is very interesting in so many ways. So first, let's go over the artists that are going to be associated with the project. Uh, The artists are, sorry, uh, Megadeth, Lacuna Coil, Opeth, hell yeah, uh, Sepultura, Dream Theater, and Ozzy, and Ghost. Uh, So some really epic metal bands, uh, some classic metal bands, and Ghost. Uh, So this is, the reason this is very interesting is because each... Uh, band gets its own reissue of an issue in physical form. Uh, I couldn't exactly find out like what record label this was going out on because that's what they did last time. I'm not even 100% sure there is going to be music or if it's just going to be art-based, uh, but it does not happen until March, I believe. Where'd my books go? Or my notes go? It's, it starts in March and it runs until uh, April. And it's... It's only being released in 13 countries, and the U.S. is not one of those 13 countries. So uh, the individual reissues of the issues is going to France, Spain, Italy, Germany, Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, and Turkey. That's where the single issues are going to be released. And then once they collect those single issues, uh, they're going to release them to those countries as well as Russia, Poland, the Czech Republic, Korea, and Japan. That's going to be the collected omnibus version of this. Um, There's going to be a lot of really awesome artwork with each of the bands involved. You can follow the link in the description to see some more of the artwork besides whatever is on the screen right now. Uh, That's just... It's it's great. I'm super excited about it. I just wish it was coming to the States. Either way, uh, go check it out. If we do get more updates on this, we will definitely be keeping tabs on it. And now we're moving on. Next, we're talking about Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse, famous death metal band that kind of everybody knows at this point. They were in Ace Ventura for crying out loud. Uh, they are putting out their 15th studio record next, or in April rather, April 16th. The name of the record is going to be Violence Unimagined. They have released the first single not a video just yet but there is a single for the song called inhuman or inhumane harvest which in typical cannibal corpse style presumably is just super brutal all the way through (laughs) uh but yeah that's pretty freaking awesome 15 records from this band that i'm sure a lot of people wrote off in the beginning because they were all about shtick not so much the case. We're moving right along, though. Next piece is kind of a follow-up, but it's a it's it's big enough and new enough that we're going to give it its own little section, and that is John Schaefer, the Iced Earth guitar player who was part of the ridiculousness that happened on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol. He has turned himself over to the police. This is not brand new. This happened, honestly, about two weeks ago. We just didn't cover it on here because... Just the fact that he was there was kind of news. It was only a matter of time before he either got caught or turned himself in. So it's kind of admirable he turned himself in, but we're birdwalking. Uh, the, the news piece here is that his other project, Demons and Wizards, just lost its other primary contributor. Uh, the, I'm sorry, I got to look the name up. Hansi Kirsch, who also plays with Blind Guardian, has left the project and has left the record label as far as the project is concerned. Uh, the record label has dropped not only Wizards and D- or Demons and Wizards, but also Iced Earth because of what Schaefer has done. Um, and Hansi has released a, an official statement saying that he's left, that he's going to be focusing on Blind Guardian, and he wants to distance himself from from the chaos that was, I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, but he wants to distance himself from the crazy that was January 6th. So really, I mean, I haven't listened to to Wizards and Demons, so I don't know if it's necessarily a bad thing, but they got some really interesting artwork, so I'm going to definitely check it out. But I totally understand where dude's coming from. That is the music section, though, guys. (laughs) 